Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, we are required to determine the forces supported by each pin of this loaded truss, right? So, we have to find the forces at the supports, right? So, let's say that we have uh, the reaction at this pin joint A. Let's say we have this reaction. Let's say this is A x, right? This is our positive x and y direction. Right. So, let us say this is Ax, then let us say that the assumed direction A of Ay is vertically downward right? and let us say that the assumed direction of the reaction at D is let us say Dx and let us say this is Dy. Right? Now, uh, and, and this loaded truss is subjected to this couple, right? this m couple of magnitude m. Right, so, now if I consider this B C D member of this loaded truss, right? So, if we consider this B C D, this is that point D, let me write it, right? So, this is B C D member of that loaded truss. So, then as we can see that if this B C D is subjected to this external couple, so then this A B will apply the force on this B C D member, right? So, let us say that this a b member is applying the force on this b c d member in this direction let us say that this is the force applied by a b member on this b c d member right and let us say that the magnitude of this force is b right so and and still we have that those reactions at this point d right this is dx and this is dy which is acting vertically upward Right. If you want to find this B, so then what we need to do is that we will apply the summation of moment at point D equals to 0 since the forces at D are unknown. Right. So, if I apply the summation of moment at D equals to 0, so then what will happen is that we will eliminate this dx and dy and we will be able to find this B force. Right. So, now if I resolve this B force into its components at this point A, right, since we can resolve this B force at point B as well and at point A as well, right. So, if I resolve this B force into its components at point A, so it will have one component which will be acting in this direction and it will have one another component which will be acting vertically upward, right. So, if this angle is 30, then this is B x, this is the cos component and this one is the sine component, right. So, as we can see that this B y is passing through that point D. So, it will not produce the moment about that point D. So, only this B x is producing the moment about that point D. And as we can see that this B x is producing the clockwise moment about that point D. Right. So, we will write minus since it is producing clockwise moment. The counterclockwise moment is considered as positive. Right. So, we will write minus B x and the perpendicular distance of this B x from that point D is equal to the radius of this arm, right, the radius of this member. So, we will write B x into R and as we can see that since this couple is a free vector, right, so it is a counterclockwise moment, right. So, we will write that this is plus m and this is equal to 0, right. So, we want to find B x. So, B x will be equal to minus m divided by minus r, right. So, this will be cancelled out. So, we will be left with m divided by r right and if we want to find uh, the b force right since b x is b cause of 30 degrees right so we can write that this is equal to m divided by r so we can write that the b force the force applied by a b member on this b c d member b is equal to m divided by r cos of 30 and cos of 30 is square root 3 divided by 2. So, we can write that B force is m r and if we write cos of 30 as square root 3 divided by 3, so we will have 2 divided by square root 3, right. So, this is the force applied by this member A B on this B C D member, right and this is bx, bx is m divided by r, right. As we can see that this b force has two components, this is bx and by, right. So, the force 
if this AB is applying the force on BCD member in this direction, so this BCD member will apply the force on this AB member in the opposite direction, right? So this will be that same B force, but now this force is the force applied by this BCD member on this AB member. This means that this AB uh, member of this truss is subjected to a compressive force and the magnitude of that compressive force is B, right? So now if I consider that AB member, let me draw that AB member, right? So, this is at point A and this is point B. So, this AB member is subjected to compressive force, right? So, similarly, we will have the force at this point that should also be a compressive force and its magnitude will be B, right? And similarly, here we have this AX force and similarly, we have a Y force which is acting vertically upward. Right, so if we resolve this B force into its components, so it will have one component which is Bx and it has one another component which is By, right. So now if I apply the summation of moment at this uh, joint A, right, so as we can see that if, if I apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0, so this means that Ax is acting in the positive direction plus Bx is acting in the positive direction, so this will be equal to 0. So this means that Ax is equal to minus Bx and we know Bx which is m divided by r, so this is m minus m divided by r. So this means that this Ax is acting in the uh, negative x direction, right? And similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 at this point A, so this means that Ay is acting in the positive y direction. We have assumed the Ay is acting vertically downward, right? So let me draw that in this same direction. So, B y is acting in the positive y direction. So, I will write B y minus A y equals to 0. So, from this A y equals to B y, right. And since B y is B sine of 30 degrees, right. And we know the B magnitude, right. So, B we can write that A y equals to B y and B is this thing, right. So, we can write that this is we can write that a y equals to 2 m divided by square root 3 r sine of 30 degrees. So now uh, sine of 30 is 1 divided by 2. So we can write that a y is 2 m divided by square root 3 r and sine of 30 is 1 divided by 2. So 2 will cancel out. So a y is equal to m divided by square root 3, right. So this is a y right this is bx and by is ay is equal to by right so we can write that this is by equals to ay right now since we are required to find this dx and dy right so now if i consider this whole truss right so if i apply the summation of the forces along y for to this whole truss right so now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so then as we can see that a y is acting in the negative y direction. So I will write minus a y plus this d y and this is equal to 0. So from this we can write that d y equals to a y equals to m divided by square root 3 r right and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 if we consider this whole truss right. So then the summation of forces along x, so Ax is acting in the positive x direction minus dx and this is equal to 0, right. And similarly, we can write that dx is equal to Ax and Ax is equal to minus m divided by r, right. So, I will write minus m divided by r. So, this is dy and dx, right. So, if we want to find the magnitude of dx, so we will apply the Pythagoras theorem, right. So, then d will be equal to, we can write that d equals to dx square plus dy square under the square root. So, we know dx, dx is minus m divided by r. So, I will write minus m divided by r square plus dy is m divided by square root 3 squared right so this will be equal to m square divided by r square plus m square divided by 3 r square 
and if we take m square by r square common right so then we can write it like this as well so i will write this as equal to i will take m square divided by r square common so this will be 1 plus 1 divided by 3 under the square root and if we apply the square root on this m square divided by r so it will be m divided by r 1 plus 1 divided by 3 square root and we can find this 1 plus 1 divided by 3 this is 2 square root 3 we can write that this is m divided by r into 2 square root 3 divided by 3 and we can write this 1 3 as 2 square root 3 right so this will cancel out so this means that this d reaction the total reaction at d is 2 m divided by square root 3 r right and now if we look if we look into this b right so this is 2 m divided by square root 3 r right so this means that the reaction at d is equal to the force applied by the a b member on that b c d member right uh, similarly we can find the reactions at point a so then the total resultant reaction at point a at pin joint a will be equal to a x square plus a y square we will, we will take the square root right so as we know that the a x is equal to d x and a y is equal to d y right so this means that if we put these values again so we will get the same value right so this means that the reaction at a is equal to the reactions at d is equal to the b force which is equal to 2m divided by square root 3 right so this is the solution of this particular problem